Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, we're looking at another vintage collection. It's the fourth one from the Gaming Greats Wave. It's VC195. It is the Electro Staff Purge Trooper. I wanted to say Imperial for some reason. But uh, yeah, I really love the uh, Black Series version of this figure. And, uh, you know, they've got the, uh, you know, pr the pretty much the top of the line clone body. Um, airborne sort of trooper helmet, which is the first time we've seen this in TVC. So I'm interested to see whether that's a new sculpt. Um, I, I, I don't, I only have one more. Um, I'm not sure whether they've done a, just a regular one in the past. I only have one or two of these figures and they're the removable helmet ones from years ago. <laughs> um, but yeah, this guy's looking pretty sweet. I'm looking forward to cracking this one open. And uh, yeah, it definitely leaves the door open for more of these to come because uh, like the Black Series, they've done two different variations of the uh, Purge Trooper. So um, yeah, let's crack it open and have a look. All right, and here is this sweet, sweet Purgy boy. And as I said, um, yeah, using that clone body from the vintage collection there used to be the Phase 1s. Um, but then I started using it on Phase 2s as well. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much the definitive sort of clone trooper body. Um, some may disagree, I find, mainly with the Phase 2s, they just haven't got the helmet right. But um, yeah, this one is indeed a new head, um, whereas normally this body contains a Bodie Taylor clone head sculpt um, with a removable helmet. But this one is simply just a new sculpt of helmet uh, with a simple joint for that ball so that's it's nice it's a nice looking nicely proportioned helmet I'd much rather see my clones like this unless they're a um, you know specific character in which case I do want to see that removable helmet but um, yeah they just got to find that right balance and size I know it's difficult at this scale <coughs> excuse me just the sort of you know you've got to juggle between compromising the size of a helmet to get a good head sculpt under there and then you've got to compromise or do you choose whether you compromise a good head sculpt underneath say Captain Rex um, for an accurate helmet so you know or do what they did with Mando the build up pack and that's uh, have a swap out head which I don't think anyone would complain about at all but yeah you got the Imperial cog there really nice under that pauldron as well just a sort of standard black pauldron the white stripes on the arms, leg, leg, I was about to say legs, and uh, white stripes there. It's got the black soft goods karma there, which I'm pretty sure we've seen before. Maybe not, maybe that's a new piece. I can't think of any other clones that are wearing that at the moment. Not that one specifically, anyway. So let's arm this guy up because, uh, yeah. He needs his he needs his weapon if he's to get anywhere. So it comes in three pieces. We've got the center of the staff here with two pegs, and then we get these parts here. They're sitting on there nicely. Um, the black series one didn't sit on there as nice, um, but I found a way. So I'm just gonna peg them on, <clears throat> and there and we get a look at the sort of scale. I feel like this scale is a little bit better. The Black Series ones seem to be a little bit short. Um, but this one looks good. So let's uh, get that in his hand. Bear with me just for a moment, folks. Yeah, the, it's a little bit of a tight squeeze. It's a pretty solid solid weapon but um yeah it works <laughs> it does trust me i it's uh there we go that one that one's probably a little bit better so he's just sort of displaying him but if you can get both hands on it you will uh, hold it pretty well they've just made a made a thicker weapon than the hands are designed for so um there we go, that looks pretty good to me. There you 
He's got all the good articulation, so you can get some cool poses with this guy. I would love a three and three quarter inch Cal Kestis. Um, you know, get some different outfits going like they've done with the uh, Black Series. You know, just color tweaks, but that's okay. That's most of what you get in the game anyway. We just sort of color tweaks to the character, different skins and outfits and ponchos and stuff with some slight differences. But um, yeah, that's what you get. That's the Purge Trooper. I'm. I might even get a second one of these, just, you know, in the, in the hopes that they do put out a Cal Kestis. Um, it'd be great to sort of have him displayed, or a, you know, second sister, not a second night sister, or whatever. But yeah, pretty nicely done. Well done, Hasbro. I think that's uh, three out of four for the uh, Gaming Greats Wave. 75% success. I guess it's a pass, <laughs> but um, yeah, the battle droid was not good. <clears throat> but this one's good. I, I, I really like this one. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Please sound out in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. That would be greatly appreciated. And uh, you can check out all my social media links and stuff down in the comments. Not in the comments, but in the description of the video. Uh, you can follow me around on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, etc. But yeah, got a couple of uh, Galaxy of Adventure figures coming up in the next couple of days. So stay tuned for those videos. And uh, yeah, subscribe so you don't miss them. So until then, thanks for watching. May the Force be with you always.